this colony is doing pretty good. They have drowned, or I'm sorry, they have emptied the feeder. Guys, I, you see what I just did? I just banged the smoker on the hive. Bees definitely did not like that. So, for you guys that's just getting started, try to be gentle with the bumps and stuff like that on your beehives. All right, this queen's out also. I guess they're just trying to get to the candy that's in there. See if we got some eggs in here. Oops, sorry about that. I kicked the camera stand there. All right, these, they're trying to make a queen cell. I'm gonna make sure I can find the queen in here. If I f make sure the queen is in here, I'm gonna destroy that because I don't know, uh, I don't remember which hive I took this frame from, so I don't wanna, there's a couple of colonies in here I don't want to uh, breed anymore. Next spring when I start rearing new queens, I'm gonna uh, go through and replace those queens. Some of them are just not very productive. Uh, some of them are a little hostile some, at times, so we're going to uh, get rid of those. seeing her well, we still got drones They must not have liked her. Hopefully we find her. I got one queen left that I can put in here. Um, if need be. Right. They're making that roaring sound like they don't have a queen. So not... I thought I saw a queen, but don't think that was. Well, that's strange. Usually they don't release a queen and kill her. But it happens. I got a bee going up my leg here. Alright, so we'll have to mark this hive and come back. Um, I still have drones, so that, that queen cell would probably come back mated. But I'd hate for uh, to spend all these resources and on a, a queen that I really don't want. Because I'm not sure where she come from. Alright. So I'm going to put this queen cage on the top.
can't tell if that's the queen shriveled up. That might be the queen inside there. Let's have a look, see here. No, that's not the queen. All right, we'll move on to the next one. All right, guys, I'll try to get this one in. We're in the shade here pretty good, so you may not be able to see a whole lot. All right, this one I noticed the uh, when I put the queen in, a lot of the bees had left. So she is out. Hopefully, we, won't, we may have to stick a frame of brood in here to help this one because for some reason a lot of the bees just decided they didn't want to stay. Don't you just love that feeling of a bee crawling up your britches leg? Here we got a yellow jacket in here trying to steal honey. Here's uh, something I'm going to try to get you guys to see. If I can get the sun just right on it. We got nurse bees hatching out, emerging here. They're coming out everywhere. It's pretty neat. I don't see the queen in here anywhere. So, this hive would have trouble. I'm gonna have to definitely stick some brood in here if they gonna make it. Um, I don't know if I wanna risk putting another queen in here or I might just combine them with another hive. But I'll give her another day or two. There's some bees down in the bottom of the box. We'll give them a, another day or two to get settled down. It's still a little chilly out today. I don't know what the exact temperature is. But I might have should have waited a little longer to open up these boxes. A lot of yellow jackets are in these boxes. I don't know why today. I have to get us a yellow jacket trap out. She's out. On the wrong box. This hive's got some beetles in it, so uh, there's the queen. I got some uh, beetle traps I ordered. Here's the queen here. She's a nice looking queen. No eggs yet.
I was wondering why I didn't have any brood in this box. Now that I think about it, this hive had a, uh, the donor hive here was a uh, queenless hive. It was a double deep. For some reason, the uh, queen was gone. I'm not sure what happened to it, but I may have killed her going through it or something, but I just, just split all the bees in half and uh, made two splits out of it. I wasn't sure how it was going to work, but so far it looks like it's doing good. All right, we're going to move. we got just a few more to look at. They've already started building comb off of this thing. This, this one was just a two frame split, but it was two good frames of brood, so um, this side of the frame is almost all emerged. So if the queen's here, she should be on this frame ready to start laying. Nothing there. Let's try this other one. Right, she's on this frame somewhere. I have eggs here. There's a lot of bees, so I'm not seeing her. Oh well. Well, we got eggs. We know she's in there, so uh, there's no sense in risking any damage to her. Let me find a couple uh, new frames to put in there with them. Alrighty, I've already got the uh, 
these two done. I had uh, two more right here. One of them had a, a pushing cage. I got that one. That video is coming out on October the 6th. Um, let's see. We'll go ahead and look at this one beside of it. I can't remember if this was one of them or not. No. All right, guys. That's uh, I think that's all of them. I did a total of 15. Not sure how many I showed you today. There's probably a few that I did in the last video, but uh, let me get this camera moved up. Everybody says they'd like to see me on camera. I don't know why I'm an ugly guy. <laughs> this is Jerry with the Honeybee Garden. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. If you have any uh, videos you want us to do, please let us know. I know there's a lot of videos out there from other beekeepers, but we would like to uh, put out there what you guys want to see. Thank you and have a blessed day.